scare, a flood, and a suicide to throw the whole town into chaos! Truth bombs are about to be dropped! Time for the deduction data box! It all started with a request from the Resistance. Shachi asked me to set up security cameras around the city. You got those cameras from someone by the name of Servan. But they had bombs inside them. I had no idea, so I set up those camera bombs all around the city. The culprit hijacked Shachi's original plan and conducted a series of crimes. The bomb set up in the phone booth of Maranamon District exploded first. Luckily, there were no casualties. But, the culprit also bombs the drain in Marnamon District at the same time. Someone snitched and said you were responsible, but that must have been the culprit too. Since the Peacekeeper's eyes were on me, it made it easier to pull off the rest of their crimes. The culprit took Shachi's gun and went to the roof of the Resistance hideout in Doya District. Shachi followed soon after. I saw him being chased by the Peacekeepers. The culprit was waiting there to ambush him. I was heading up the emergency stairs to the roof, but along the way... Bang! We heard a ringing gunshot! Shachi was ambushed by the culprit and shot to death. Once it was finished, they placed the gun in Shachi's right hand to make it look like a suicide. But it was actually a left-handed gun! Getting caught because of your own cover-up is borderline weak sauce! Why borderline? With their cover set up, the culprit jumped into the open drain and escaped from the roof unseen. Impossible to jump off the roof. But the area was already flooded, so the drain was filled with water. Right after the escape, I arrived on the rooftop and discovered Shachi's body. And kaboom! The hideout exploded! The drain was buried in the rubble from this explosion. A bomb had been set in advance to hide the killer's escape. After that, we all went around town trying to defuse the bombs. The culprit took advantage of the chaos to open the valve of the reservoir upstream from the power plant. Since the drain had been dammed in the explosion, when all that backed up water had even more added to it, Maranamon District became totally drenched and shitty. Right, it became a drenched city. Marnumon District is now flooded, and many facilities have safes made by Amaterasu Corporation. The banks are no exception. These safes are heavy and difficult to move, but because they're so airtight, they can float on water. As a result, they all floated out of the flooded banks. Collecting these safes was the culprit's true goal. Sinking an entire district just to be a small-time looter. I can't tell if the guy thinks big or small. The only ones who could commit these crimes were the resistance leaders with access to Shachi's gun. And only one guy was a good enough swimmer to dive right into the drain. Shachi really did try to save the city. But the culprit not only took over his plan, but killed and framed him. This criminal lost his pride and dignity as a member of the Resistance, becoming nothing more than a money grubber. And his true identity is... Icardi! It was you! you!
finished!